Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 4, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we will continue our lessons on field properties, a topic we started in Level 3. We will also learn about database maintenance and the Find and Replace feature. This course follows Access 2010 Beginner Level 3. It is strongly recommended that you watch Level 3 before proceeding with today's lessons. Level 3 begins the discussion of field properties, including input masks, default values, validation rules, and lots more. For more information on Level 3, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. This course is designed to be used with Access 2010. If you're using Access 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along, as the two versions are very similar. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should either upgrade your version of Access or visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for my Access 2003 tutorials. While I encourage you to actually build the database that I build in today's class, if you would like to download a copy of my database file, you can find it at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. My courses are broken up into four groups. Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The Expert classes are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do and will cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You'll learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the true potential of Microsoft Access. Each series is broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. Once you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally the developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. 
We started learning about field properties in Access Beginner Level 3. In Lesson 1, we will continue learning about field properties. We will learn the required and allow zero length properties. In Lesson 2, we'll spend some time with memo fields. We'll talk about the text align, text format, and append only properties. In Lesson 3, we'll spend a few minutes talking about a few of the lesser used properties, and then we'll spend a lot of time covering one of the most important properties, indexing. In Lesson 4, we're going to talk about some database maintenance issues. We'll learn compact and repair, and backing up your database. In Lesson 5, we're going to learn about the find and replace features. In Lesson 6, I'll answer some questions from students.